Okay, so I get this question a lot, and in fact, you'll see I ask you to do something with it. But this is talking about biorhythms, and you're given this sine function, and it measures potential time, and it says t equals zero, is the day you were born. Uh, three characteristics that are commonly measured are your physical potential, when you're strong, you're emotional, <gasps> you get sad, right? Uh, or you're very, very emotional. Um, and intellectual, hope that happens on test day, right? And this first part, they're asking you to find omega. If you remember the formula for the, to, the period was t equals 2 pi over omega. Well, if the period is, which one am I looking at? Physical 23, then this just simply would be 2 pi over 23. Fantastic. And the next one will be 2 pi over emotional, 28. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, what you mean it's wrong? I, I, I kind of sort of forgot to, like, not, um, you know, reduce the fraction. Rude, right? So divide the top and the bottom by 2. Hello. 14. Stop laughing. All right, teacher got one wrong. Well, one wrong, but you know. Good job. And then the next one, um, 2 pi over 33. Okay. All right, then it asks which one of these are the graphs. So what I do, what would Cindy do, is I go graph, graph these. So let's go over chair. And I use, I like this program, desmos.com. Um, it's free. You can also get it as an app on your phone, iPad, tablets, all that good stuff. So that's why I like it. So to start graphing, each one of these, if I go back and show you the function here, the 50 sine omega. So each one I'm going to have to graph separately and put the omega in and then plus 50. So you're going to see me do that right here. So I have 50 sine 2 pi over 23. And this program doesn't know what t is, so you have to put an x and plus 50. Oops, that's not 50. Plus 50. All right, so there's that one. I'm going to add the other two. So I'm going to cheat and copy and paste this. And then all I have to do is change this to 14, right? Yeah, that was the one that yelled at me. And then 2 pi over 30 tree. Now you can move this graph, I'm just clicking and dragging, so you can kind of move it around a little bit. Um, you should be aware that it starts at 50, why? Because of the plus 50, so in other words it took the sine function and it, shift, it shifted it. You should also be aware, now I'm scrolling on my mouse, what, I, what, what I'm doing if you want to know what I'm doing. You should also be aware that it goes up to 100. Why? Well, remember this first number is the amplitude. So if it started at zero, it would go up to 50 and down to negative 50. But since I shifted it 50, then I have to shift it up 50. Okay, we're good, we're good to go, we're good, good to go. All right, so this one's actually, this part's actually pretty easy to answer because it gives me some graphs. Let me put these back over here. And I can see that the only one that all three of them start together is this one. Okay, notice all of these are kind of weird and they don't, they don't start together. And it tells you that you started at zero. And so it got to be that one. Fantastic. All right. Um, is there a time when they all have 100%? So in other words, do they all hump in one place? No. So there's not, not a time that the max, okay, the top of these humps are all identical. So that'd be a negatory. Excellent. And without calculus, you can actually do this easier with calculus. Well, I don't want to say easier because calculus may not be easy to you. But I, I have to actually use the graph to figure this stuff out. So it says, suppose that a person is eight years old today, two nine, two two days and describe their physical, emotional, and intellectual. So if I'm going to do physical first. So over here, if I click on these colors, it gets rid of the graph. And I kind of want to do that. 
and notice my x-axis or my t-axis starts at 2922 so you certainly don't probably want to scroll that far so there's this little looking wrench thing and I can change my my x-axis I already forgot the number 2922 so I probably would want to start at like 2920 right because it's going to be um, um, a little bit you know after that 2922 and then go 2935 we'll see if that I can already tell that well no this might be okay all right so somewhere around here the problem is is we're so far up we can't see the um, x-axis well wow, it's pretty good for a first try is I'm just looking for 2922 and and what I'm doing is I'm clicking and I'm dragging on the line you can even just click on the line and it'll show the point so I know that's somewhere over here it's asking me where does it hit its max again and how many days later so 2926.75 this is the important part you have to round up so what was it again it was 2927 and then minus the 2922 okay so let me get back right back right back right here back here so uh, the next time it peaked okay the maximum is five days later nice work and then I just do the same thing for each one so then I look at the emotional so emotional uh, emotional Ooh, that one's going down so notice this one um, you know wherever 29 22 is over here I'm gonna actually have to scroll to see how many days later in his right chair so two nine ooh, that's a that's a whole number that could be good right we'll see if I get it right so two nine four seven minus two nine two two I get 25 25 good job and then finally the last one now I have to remember I've moved hello I've moved this right so I kind of need to be sure I'm back to my two nine two two hey there we go I can I can see clearly now uh right chair so get rid of that one get this one well i gotta scroll back to the right again because this one's going going down and so this one would peak it looks like is that the peak yeah it looks like at two nine four six wasn't that the first one no so this one's actually close to the last one right two nine two two and i get 24 24 well done and then of course you could go back and put all these in here and you could see what's happening um i'm gonna i'm scrolling again zooming out and see what's actually happening but unfortunately this is a question that you have to answer with a calculator um so you know that this wouldn't be on the test right but that's how you would answer it so i hope you found that helpful keith did right here little keith and um that's all i got Happy biorhythms, that's what we, we should say. And Keith says goodbye.